It's been over two weeks since the few scarcity hit states across the country. In Taraba State, the situation at petrol stations has not gotten any better, as motorists continue to queue for hours to get premium motor spirit. While motorists continue to experience the hardship, black marketers continue to make a killing on sales. Residents of Taraba State are calling on the government to address the issue quickly. In fact, it has been uh, very stressful to us. We want government to assist on uh, Lady Abbey Fuel and every, all the other stations, not only an NPC. Uh, if they can do that, then I think the poor masses will benefit uh, a lot. That is the way I see that poor man can benefit. But without that, it will be very, the hardship in Nigeria will continue. I came much earlier and there are not much people. So I spent about 10 to 15 minutes to get fuel. And I think it's okay for, for today. Other days were worse. The situation has forced operatives of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps to visit few stations in the state to identify marketers hoarding the product. The NSCDC Taraba State Commandant threatens to seal any few station which refuses to sell. We are going around all the filling stations to make sure that they are selling at the government pump price. And then not only that, we use our, their deep stick to dip into their tanks to find out if they have fuel in their tanks. If they have fuel in their tank, they must sell. But some of them are hoarding the fuel so that they can sell to all these people selling in jerry cans, black marketers. And that's exactly what we are trying to discourage. If there is anybody that has flouted or that's going contrary to the stipulated regulations, we either see the filling station or, and after which we can take the matter to court. So there is punishment for offenders. In the meantime, consumers continue to suffer because of the scarcity praying that the situation will ease in the coming days. Meanwhile, the Abia State Commandant of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, Taiye Oluo, has frowned at the activities of bunkering by oil vandals, hinting that the menace in society is one too many. He made the disclosure at the core premises at Ukwa West, where items used in illegal bunkering were seized, confiscated by the anti-vandal units of the command, and same were displayed including a big drum for cooking the petroleum, iron pipe, generating set, wraps of blue gas, amongst other things. He vowed to fish out the perpetrators of the crime as efforts continue to cut off the supply chain.